Hey, so I've decided to make this video because I've seen a lot of uh, discussion and discrepancy about, you know, taking your your uh, Ludwig drum kit with these 3 8 spurs. Some of, some of them started, I think, in the late 60s right through, you know, the uh, early 70s, uh, early to mid 70s, where they had the 3 8 spurs, upgrading it to the half-inch spurs. And it's actually... From what I've discovered, a pretty simple modification. In fact, some of them are actually drilled for the half-inch spurs. The, the mid to the early to mid 70s are actually drilled. So they might have had them on the bench, you know, getting ready for the half-inch spurs, but they had a bunch of three eighths they had to get rid of. Just kind of use what you had at that time sometimes. Um, so this kit I haven't actually done yet. This is a 71. But um, I've got several of these that I've, I've worked on, and, and I really like the half-inch spurs. The, the profile, the stability is way better. It looks, it looks better. This uh, mid-'70s Maple Cortex bass drum came with the 3 8 uh, I bought the half-inch spurs and just checked it out, and these actually just went right in. They were already pre-drilled for the half-inch clearance. So it had 3 8 but the, the half-inch... Uh, the, the hole was big enough, it was drilled for three eighths uh, for the half inch, so it went right in. Same with this Vista Light kit that I got, same thing. It had the uh, three eighths spurs, and then I, I bought the half inch, tried it out, and they went, they went right in. The hole was big enough. Um, similar story with this here, this, this uh, mid 70s black diamond kit. The half inch spurs, it was tight, but I just sort of, you know, worked it. And after a couple of tries, it went right in. Now, this one here, this was a, uh, this is a, this is a, a mid 70s, early 70s, probably mid to early 70s, um, white cortex. It had 3 8 spurs. When I took out the old 3 8 spurs, um, the half inch spurs didn't quite fit. The hole was uh, just ever so slightly too small. So all I ended up doing was taking this little Dremel kit. It wasn't, I didn't have to drill it. I didn't have to do anything, you know, radical. It had this little tool here, this little sander tool. So I put it in, the, in there and just, you know, put, I put the actual spur on and then just sort of sand it around the hole where the spur went in. It was ever so slightly. It was probably a sixteenth of an inch, maybe less. And once I sanded out that little area, it took me all of, you know, just a couple of minutes, uh, the spur went right in. And it did the same thing for both sides. So this one was actually probably drilled for the three-eighths, but it just took an ever so slightly modification from this Dremel tool to... Uh, to clean it up just enough to get that spur in. And, and I'll tell you what, the half inch spurs are way more stable. They're way better looking. And um, so it's an easy modification. I've seen some message boards that say you gotta drill, you gotta do this or that. It's, it's pretty simple and some of them go right in. So uh, I would encourage you to go do it. If you have any questions, you can post them on here and uh, Hopefully this will help some people because I was looking around myself quite a bit and it took me a little bit of uh, experimentation to figure it out. So I uh, hope it works for everybody.